All right, so I'm making this recording to try to clarify some misunderstandings that seem to be perpetuated out on the discussion. The error that seems to be causing the confusion is when someone comes into the view and they run it. And when they run it, what they get is a view with an error where the navigation bar should be that says, hey, I don't know what this variable is. This is not a error as far as we are concerned. This is just a natural product of trying to define and display a variable that this view has no idea what it is. So you may ask, why does it not know what it is? And the answer is because the nav list variable is actually defined in the controller. So let's just look. This is my main Acme controller. You built this as one of the activities this week. So the first thing we do is we reach out and we grab our connection file. This is what allows us to talk to the database. Then we have built and we are bringing into scope, remember, any kind of a require, any kind of an include brings something into scope. So it's sucking this code in so that we can use it in this controller, which we do. So right here, the get categories function is actually defined and stored in this model. Because the model is in scope, we can call the function and make use of it. We're basically saying, reach into the categories table of the Acme database and get me the names of all of the categories that exist there. The data is sent back and we store it into this variable as an array. Then we start building the HTML code to display the navigation list and we store it all into this variable called nav list. That's what we're after. Okay, so again, the, the code gets read from top to bottom. So these happened first, this happens next, this happens next. Once we've got nav list built, then we come down here and we look in both the get and the post and we say, is there an action name value pair? And if there is, we collect the value that was attached to action and we store it in another variable. Then we drop into our switch statement. This is where we start making decisions about what needs to happen next. So we look inside of the action variable and we say, hey, if you have a value of template, then I'm going to deliver the template. But if you don't have a value, then I'm going to just do this default action and I am going to include the home view. Now remember, any type of a require, any type of an include brings that external resource into the scope of the current location. So that means views code is actually brought into the scope of this controller, which means that this variable, which was defined here, will now be understood here. So, before I ran the home view all by itself without first going through the controller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the controller instead. So I do so, and now the browser, again, notice the URL. This is the address of the controller. This is not the address of the view. The controller has been run. It does all of its code. It gets down to the bottom. It includes the view into its scope, and now my navigation bar displays because it's in scope, it knows what it is, and it can now display it because it was built. So again, the only way you get an error is if you run the view all by itself. But if you run it through a controller, which means I call the controller, and I have a series of switch statements set up so that at some point they call the view into their scope. Nav list is now understood. And when that view is delivered back to the browser, I can see the end result. So 
please, 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 this is all a scope issue. If you see the error, it's because you probably called the view directly. Look at the URL. If it's not showing the address of a controller, you know that's exactly what you've done. If, on the other hand, you see the address of a controller, if everything is built right, you should also see the navigation bar. So don't let this be a stumbling block. Just understand this is all part of scope. So I hope this helps clarify this issue. Bye.